Hey guys and welcome back to RoboCAD. In this SolidWorks tutorial, I will explain you how to assemble the robotic arm in SolidWorks. In our previous tutorials, I have explained how to model all the parts in SolidWorks. So if you find the link, I will provide the link in description for all the parts for modeling. So let's begin. So first I will click on file, click on new and select assembly this time and click OK because we are working in assembly this time. Okay. I will cross every window that appears and first I will change the background to plain white and I will make sure that I am working in MMGS as units which are millimeters. Then I will select this insert component and click on browse and I will locate uh, where all my parts are modeled. So. I will open the base first which we have modeled in our previous tutorial so if you want to change the color of it right click on this part click with the very first option that is opening it into a separate part then go to this option and right click here and select the added appearance in order to change the color or the appearance basically this is the rendering part if you want this is an optional step so whatever color you can you want to assign you can assign it from here then check the box from here then go to file click on save button and click on cross button so new color has been updated so that's how you can change the colors of all the parts then you can select the insert component click on browse and after that I will open the servo motor so we have basically two servo motors so this is one of the latest servo motor that I have explained then again I will insert this time the waste so I will select the waste and click open and now it's time to assemble so first I will rotate the waste so that's how you can rotate it but you uh, will not be able to rotate the base until you do some settings so as you can see it is not able to rotate so how you can do this right click on the base and click on float okay so now you will be able to rotate it so i want to make it fixed because the base should be fixed so right click on and click again fix okay now it's time to assemble so i will click on mate i will select the bottom face of the waist and the top face of the base and as you can see this is how this is this this is the way they are going to assemble so I will check the box and then I will key, uh, select the mate again and I will select this circumference of the waist and this circumference of the base and I will check either from here or from here both have same function okay let me show you how it's gonna work so when I will rotate the waist it's gonna rotate but it the base is not gonna be rotating because that is fixed okay so you have to rotate the waist now I will rotate the um, servo motor in in such a way that it can be fixed on the bottom so I will click on mate I will select the circumference of uh, the waist which is basically the hole which gonna get assembled with the servo motor and the shaft of the servo motor so that's how they, they are gonna get assembled right so then I will select uh, the mate again and this time I will select this face and this face of the servo motor and the base and make sure that this is the parallel mate and then click on the checkbox so that's how they're gonna get assembled we are left with one more mate for the servo motor but we will do that later so i'm gonna insert another component here so this is the link one so this is the very first link you can name it like link two link three it's up to you but i have renamed uh, it as a uh, link one okay so i will click on mate i will made this surface of the waist with this flat surface of the link one so make sure that this is a flatter one this one okay okay now i will select the mate and i will select this circumference of the waist and this circumference make sure that is the middle circle of the link one and i will check the box so this is assembled 
we are left with one more mate because uh, of some mechanical errors but before that let me fix uh, the base first uh, let me fix the servo motor first so I will hide this component so right click here on the waist and select this option for the height okay we will uh, reappear it again don't worry about that so let me select this face of the base then select the mate and after that I will select the back side of the servo motor and check the box so this is gonna get assembled like this okay this is uh, assembled so right click here because this is the hidden part and click on show so that's how you can hide and show the parts and assembly okay now as you can see this is not possible the link basically cannot go into there so I will select this link and this part will be highlighted so I will drop down this menu and then I will find these three planes so I want to plane that cut this part in half like this in this horizontal way or whatever you consider it but uh, I will keep it selected then I will click on mate so this is already selected the plane right and then I will select this flatter surface of the base and I will go into the advanced mate and here I have the angle mate right so I will select the angle made where I can specify the limits so I will specify the lower limit as 0 and the upper limit as 180 degree and check the box so this is gonna get assembled like this so as you can see this is assembled in some incorrect direction uh, uh, let me fix this part I have basically fixed the waist so as you can see the angle is kind of uh, flipped so go into the mates and go to the last mate which is the limit mate let me show you from here right click on the limit mate go to edit features which is the very first option and here I will only check this box flip direction which means that it will work in the other direction so as you can see this is now correct it is not going into the base now I will right click here click on float because I want this to work as well this to rotate as well okay and now it's time to open again or insert again servo motor 2 right this is the black servo motor I have two servo motor one is black and one is blue okay so I will assemble this hole with the shaft of the servo motor just like we have done previously I will cross it so uh, I want to rotate it like okay I have to fix the other parts so right click on this part waste click on fix right click on this link and click on fix so I will able to now easily get into uh, this into the right direction so what I will do I will make these two surfaces so I will keep this surface selected and click on mate and then I will select this surface and I will make sure that this is a parallel mate I will either check it from here or from here so this is gonna get assembled like this so this is the parallel mate okay we are left with one more mate so what I will do I will select this surface of the waist and this surface of the servo and check the box so this is completely assembled and as you can see we can assemble it we can you know insert the fasteners the bolts into this this is assembled okay now I will again right click here and keep them float just to make sure that they are working because sometimes we assemble we assign the mates that the parts will not be able to move then we have to make sure that after assembling every part the assembly is working so now it's time to insert the link to which we have modeled in our previous tutorials okay then I will rotate it in such a way that this is like facing the flatter face 
of the link tube then I will click on mate I will select this surface and I will assemble it with this flatter surface of the link tube and then I will make sure that I'm gonna assemble the circular surfaces as well perfect and now I want to again insert servo underscore two so either I can insert from here or there is another option hold control key and drag this servo motor so there is there are two ways whichever way fits you uh, you can use that way so again I will assemble this hole with a shaft of the servo motor and then in order to align it I want to fix the other parts so I will fix these parts and this part as well because I want to rotate it like this very easily mm -hmm. right it's gonna assemble like this so I will select the mate I will select this surface and the surface and assign a parallel mate because these are the parallel surfaces I will check the box we are left with one more mate so I will drag this away first then select mate and I will select this surface of the servo motor and the surface of the link to and check the box so now if I uh, move this servo motor is not gonna move because this is uh, now assembled and this is correctly assembled so I will again make sure that they are working the links are working after every assembly so make sure that that you are doing that after every uh, assembly so I will this time insert another servo motor this is a different servo motor that we have modeled so I will assemble it with the gripper part and this link of the robotic arm as well so I will first make sure that this is in a correct position correct orientation and then I will select the mate I will select this circular surface of the servo motor and the circular surface of the link and assemble it as you can see it is not allowing me to properly orient it so I will fix the link to and then I will correctly orient the servo motor I will select this face of the servo motor and um, probably the inner face and I will assign the parallel mate and check the box okay so now we have to do one more mate I will select this flatter surface of the link to and this surface of the servo and check the box so that it's gonna get correctly assembled like this right okay and now it is the time to insert the link three so this is already modeled in our previous tutorials right I will first rotate it in order to orient it correctly and then I will select the mate I will select the surface of the shaft and this hole of the center hole of the link three move it away and then this surface and this surface and I will assign here distance mate this is a standard mate so I will keep a distance of one millimeter it's up to you okay so this is assembled correctly as well okay and I will hold control key and drag this uh, servo motor or either you can insert it manually this is not a big deal it's up to you I have explained you both of the methods so I will assemble this surface of the servo motor with this surface of the link 3 then this surface and this surface are gonna get assembled and we are left with a parallel mate so I will first orient it properly select this face and this face and this is going to be the parallel mate and check the box and now we are only left with the grouper so I will go into the grouper and uh, all of these are as you can see solver part, solver part and this is the assembly so this is the gripper assembly which I have already explained how to assemble you can find that in the same playlist so first I will orient it correctly 
yes like this okay then I will select the mate and first I will assemble these two parts they should be in parallel relation okay the link 2 and link 3 and then I will select mate and this time I will assemble robotic gripper with a link 3 so this other flatter surface of the link 3 and flatter surface of the gripper and after that the middle hole with this middle hole or you can also assemble it with the servo motor they are aligned perfect okay now they can this can rotate it like this so I have to make sure that if they are not working I can make it float and I have explained you one more thing that uh, after assembling every part you have to make sure that every part is working perfectly as well so now I will save this part at so as a robotic gripper assembly and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching guys